Hey, uh, the Polish lock inventor, Zbigniew Olejnik, has made a new design. This is the latest design. It's got 10 numbers per wheel and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 wheels. So that's 10 million combinations. Imagine this was made of metal and, and hardened steel. You can see that there would be quite a secure lock. Although most criminals, they're not trying to decode it like I try and do. They will try and use bolt cutters or a hacksaw or something like that to get through it instead. So it wouldn't really matter if there were seven wheels or four wheels, you know. But this is just to show you can put as many wheels as you like. It's designed so that if the wheels are knocked off with a hammer, it'll still remain shut. It's designed that way. And any tensioning of the shackle, you can't feel it in the wheels. The new design, you can turn left and right very, very easily. Very easily. And, and he's really, the inventor's Spignev has really sorted that out. And in the last Worldwide Challenge, this is the second Worldwide Challenge, and I'm the first participant. And in the first one, I was able to decode it by tensioning the front knob. If I tensioned it enough, then if the wheels were over the right gate, it would turn just that little bit more. Now, what the inventor's done, he has cunningly designed this lock so that if I over-tension the front knob, it'll just keep turning, you see? <laughs> so it's very, very cunning. Okay, so the idea is that I put in the right combination, I turn this around, at the moment it doesn't turn very much, and if I turn it hard, it'll just keep turning, but if I turn lightly, it doesn't turn very much, and then the whole wheel pack will move, and it'll be able to open. Because I can't tension it, I do not think I will be able to decode this. I've got seven days, and I'll give it a good go, but I'm really, really not hopeful uh, that I'll be able to decode it. I'll test it anyway. But um, yeah, the only chance I've got is I'll try and put a mirror on this knob and shine a laser on the mirror and I'll just try and turn it, you know, not hard, just slightly and I'll test each position, see if a true gate where it wants to turn just that little bit more. I don't think it will because in the previous design, I was able to tension it hard and get some flex, especially out of the plastic model like this one. It's just a 3D printed version at this stage. And I can't tension it hard, but maybe, maybe there's a small possibility that it will turn a little bit further. I'll give it a go. I don't think so. But yeah, so it's this log's becoming uh, more and more secure from a decoding point of view. And it's also turns really nicely. It's really nice to use. Um, so I will uh, I'll have some fun anyway. Cheers.